Hello, this is Paul Chini with Spartan Design University. In this video, we're going to add a graphic that's going to be 100% wide and it's going to scale itself depending on whether it's on a phone, a tablet, or a desktop. That image is this one right here. It's called lake.jpg and it is 960 pixels wide. If we go back to our design document, we can see that our designer called for a maximum width of 960. Well, that required me to make some changes inside my code. I had to go to my phone default and set my container maximum width to 960. Remember that the container is this area right here that's colored in. So that's now been reduced from 1140 to 960. Along with that change, I had to go to the desktop and change this minimum width for my desktop CSS to kick in at 960. So with those two changes, I've also added some filler text here and I've styled the H1 so that we could read it. Okay, now let's do the image. We're back here to our source code. There's a new HTML5 tag called article and it holds anything you want to stick inside of it this sort of visual sorry it's not article it's figure figure tag so inside the figure tag we're going to put an image images need a src and an alt and inside here path is lake.jpg. Save it. All right, let's pull up our browser. Hit refresh, and there's the lake picture. It's touching the sides. It's actually in the wrong spot. It's supposed to be above the page name. So we can go back here and move this H1 down to there. Okay. So now it's in the right spot. There it is, nice and tucked up here against my navigation. So it looks great on a desktop, but look on the phone, which is what we're working on, it actually crops it off instead of scaling it to fit the available space. So let's go to our phone default. Let's come down here to a section I've added for images, and we'll talk to the figure. And we'll talk to the figure image. Now, this is not the only figure that we're going to ever have on our page. So we can't just talk to the figure and the figure image. We need to give this thing its own class. When I assign classes to figures, I do so with the desktop in mind. So on the desktop, the width of this thing is going to be 100%. Now, I also know from my design documents this image is 100 percent on the desktop it's also a hundred percent and it's a hundred percent on the phone whereas this other one is going to be a little bit different so class equals w100 so let's go back so we're going to talk to figure dot w100 W100, there we go. Then we're going to tell it to have a width that's always 100% of the available space, which it already is, you just can't see it. Now we're going to tell the image, and this is where the magic of responsive works, we're going to tell it to also have a 100%. The image is going to fill the figure and the figure is going to scale based on the page width. So let's cross our fingers and toes. See what happens here when we shrink it down. So there's our tablet. Notice how that image is scaling. It's always maintaining 100% of the available space. So there it is on a phone. Phone wide. Tablet. It's beautiful. Beautiful all the way up to the maximum size. And then we just add to the outside edge. 